hello guys welcome back to my channel so the last update about twist of fate palavi fight with alia for supporting ria when ria refused to divorce rambro and ria tears the divorce papers let's continue from there ria tells everyone that she knows that prachi is pregnant and her pregnancy is complicated and that is why she is asking prachi to go as she can stay with not my husband but with her baby's real father everyone is shocked ria tells rambro that it is his mistake and says his blind love made Prachi blind and she did not see what wrong she is doing. Ria says to Rambro that you used to say Prachi I love you, you are my wife and I want to stay with you but Prachi has forgotten who the real father of her baby is and she was regarding you as the real father. Rambro shouted Ria. Ria asks Rambro to get a bitch out to hearing the truth. Ria says Prachi knew about this from before, she knows this from day one and that is why she tried to go from here. But mom, grandma and Rambo stopped her at different times. Ria says Prachi wanted to go away from here as Prachi wanted to stay with her baby's real father who is none other than Sedad. Alia smiles saying everyone's shock reactions. Grandma asks that how can anyone accuse her own sister. Prachi asks Ria that how can you say this. Vikram says to Ria that you have showed the difference between you and Prachi by saying this. Grandma says to Ria that you are falling down to this level. Palavi says that now, we will not feel any sympathy on Rhea when she gets thrown out from here. Grandma says, I want to throw Rhea out from this house immediately. Prachi slaps Rhea. She says, you talk about my husband and my marriage and I was quiet. She says, I will not bear anything against my baby. Prachi says, we can raise questions on a wife's character, but not as a mother. Rhea says to Prachi that when we are talked alone, everything was fine. When we were talking here, yeah, you are lying. Prachi asks Ria to stop it. Ria says she will not stop for a single second. She says, I will tell the truth in front of everyone. You are having see that baby in your stomach. Ria says to Prachi that you might be married to Rambro, but you are carrying see that illegitimate child. Prachi shouted Ria. Ria says, I gave you respect by hiding your secret and I tried to make you understand to go. She says, if I wanted, I would have exposed you before. You don't know respect as you are pregnant with Sida child. Ria says to Prachi that you are betraying Rambro and you are pregnant with someone else's child and I should leave from this house for you. Ria says I will not stand silent anymore. Then she tells Prachi that when she sees the family attached to her baby and when the baby is not theirs, then they are asking her to go. She that she is having their own baby. Ria apologizes to Prachi and says I have to tell the truth in front of everyone. Rambo says, enough. Nobody wants to hear you here. Please get out from here. Ria says, I love you, Rambo, and I love this family, and I want to fight for my right. Ria drops some papers. Alia says to everyone that she can prove that Prachi is pregnant with Sidat child. Ria shows Prachi and Sidat photos. Palavi says, we have already seen this. Ria says, these pictures are asked to click, and says, I have called a guest here, and the truth to be out in front of everyone. Outside the house, a lady get down from the car. Inside the house, Rambo says enough is enough and says he will not believe Ria, whatever she says. Rambo says I will trust my wife always and I will never doubt her. Alia says when the truth comes out, then your trust and heart will break. She says we cannot ignore the truth. Ria says to everyone that I couldn't bear that this family who cares for us so much that Prachi is fooling everyone. She says that she has caused someone to prove this truth as Prachi will be exposed, but till then, Prachi can act. The lady tells the watchman that Ria has called her from Bangalore. The watchman let her go inside. Ria asks that, why did everyone hate me suddenly? Palavi says, nobody hates you. It is just in your mind. Aliyah says, you are not understanding that your truth should not be our truth. Aliyah says, you are involving Ria's baby too. And Ria loves this family and she has planned this to bring out the truth. Shahana says that planning is only needed to tell lies. Alia says Ria said the truth. Shahana says the truth is not exposed shamelessly. Alia asks Shahana to keep her mouth shut. The lady comes inside the house. Alia asks the lady to give her the intro. Prachi recalls that the lady is the waitress in the hotel. Ria says that we wouldn't have known about this if Siddharth haven't come to the party. She says I saw Siddharth and Prachi were in the room and hugging each other. Ria says that Siddharth was asking Prachi to leave from here so that they can stay together. Prachi asks Ria to stop her lies. 
Ria asks Vikram if Siddharth met him that day. Vikram says, yes, I met Siddharth, so what? Ria says, now, proofs needs to be shown. She asks Priya if she brought the proofs. She says, I asked her to bring proof of Siddharth and Prachi's illegitimate relationship. Priya shows everyone the fake copy of the hotel room. Ria shows the entry records and says they are in the same room. Priya says, Ria told me about the matter that Prachi is pregnant with Siddharth's child and he congratulated Prachi that they are becoming parents. Rambro and Prachi ask Ria to shut up. Ria asks Prachi to shut up and says, shut your mouth up until you get the proofs. She says, I showed you the proof. Ria scolds Rambro for being blinded in love. Alia asks Ria to show the CCTV camera picture where Prachi and Sida stayed as a couple. Priya shows the fake pictures. Ria smacks. Alia smiles. Priya asks if they believe her now or they want to see more private pictures. Rambro takes the pictures and tears it. Rambro asks Priya to leave from this house. I did not call you here, so don't force me to use some other way. Shahana says that Rambro might be helpless, but I am not. She says she will throw Ria out of this house. Rambro tells Ria that he doesn't trust her or that girl. He says, I don't really trust you. Prachi says, whatever happened there, two people knows, Sidat and I. She says, only Sidat can tell the truth. Ria says that she will see how Sidat will lie about everything. Aliyah says Sidat has to tell the truth. Ria says she will call Sidat. Ria says Sidat's phone is not working. Vikram says, I have Sidat's new number. He calls Sidat. Sidat says, hello. Vikram asks Siddharth to come home. Siddharth says, okay. Grandma says to Vikram that it is good that he calls Siddharth. Rambro asks everyone to leave their phones until Siddharth comes here and says nobody will go out until then. Grandma asks why. Rambro says, I don't want anyone to ask Siddharth to lie. He says, I want Siddharth to tell the truth and not any false story. Rambro asks everyone to give their phones to him and says that even the landlines will be caught until Siddharth comes here. Shahana gives her phone first. Grandma asks others to give their phones. Everyone gives their phones. Rambo locks the phones in the drawer and gives the key to Grandma, asking Grandma not to give the key to anyone. Alia signals to Shahina to be quiet. Shahina says, I'm Ria's friend and Ria needs my support. Alia asks Shahina not to make noise. Ria asks Alia to be quiet and says, Your noise is paining my ears. Alia says to Ria that you cannot talk to me like this in front of your friend. I am your elder. Ria says to Alia that I can do anything because I am worried. I am irritated and frustrated. Alia says you are an idiot as well, as you mentioned Sidat's name. Ria says Prachi was bluffing and everyone were behind it. Ria says Rambu believed me the last time when I told him and he believed that Prachi and Sidat are having an affair. Alia says to Ria that there is a lot of difference in Rambu because of Prachi. Alia says I am older and I talk big and also my plans are big. Shaina says aunt is right. Ria and Alia ask Shaina to shut up. Rambu comes to Prachi. Prachi says that Ria told us so much and she asks if Rambu will not ask her any questions. Rambu keeps his fingers on Prachi's mouth and says he doesn't care about what others says and his heart has testified. Rambu says if I haven't doubted you, then we would have been together and happy. Rambu says I am the reason of your tears and I am going through the same pain as you. Rambu says to Prachi that my pain is that how can I trouble the person I love. Rambu wipes Prachi's tears and says it can flow only when it is happy tears. Rambu says he is the reason for Prachi's tears and he gets teary eyes. Prachi wipes Rambu's tears and asks that what is the reason for his tears. Palavi comes there and says sorry for disturbing them. Rambu asks Palavi why are you crying. Vikram says Palavi is crying seeing you crying. Vikram says Palavi used to make you sit in a lap in your childhood. Vikram says wipe your wife's tears and I'll wipe my Palavi's tears. Vikram praises Palavi. Grandma says that she has prayed in the temple to ward off bad side from my family. Ria comes there. Grandma asks Ria to take Prasad. Ria thinks that it is not Prachi's pregnancy but the avatar of God for whom everyone is getting mad. Ria thinks that at one time they don't want to see Prachi's face and now everyone is supporting Prachi. Grandma asks Ria to have the prasad. Ria ignores Grandma and she goes. Shaina asks Alia if she has problem as she is sharing room with her. Alia asks Shaina to help her place the bed sheet. Ria pulls the bed sheet and asks, what are you doing? Alia says, you cannot talk to me like this. Ria asks Alia that how can you sleep? 
Ali has said sleep is needed for a peaceful mind. Ria asks, until when will you make your mind rest? Ali says you don't have mind, and that is why you plan without a thought. Ria says you are insulting me in front of my friend. Ria says to Aliyah that everyone loves Prachi and not me. Aliyah says we know this from before. Ria says, Mom, your friend, Palavi used to love me and she was on my side. Aliyah says, Palavi doesn't like you now and she hates you and it might be your mistake. Ria says to Aliyah that it is not my fault. It all started after Prachi's party. Mom took 180 degree U-turn and then she started supporting Prachi and my own life took 360 degree turn. She says, I thought they would believe prayer, and that is why I called her. Aliyah says, how would they believe when you have mentioned Siddharth's name? Ria says that she would give her life to get Rambro. Aliyah says, Prachi would take her life instead and not you. Ria asks Aliyah to do something and says she is feeling alone. She asks Aliyah. Ria says, I will come in some time, and she goes. Shaina says to Aliyah that she doesn't know what happened to Ria, and she asks if she has gone crazy. Aliyah says to Shaina that you don't have the right to say anything. I am Ria's aunt and I can talk. Palavi tells Prachi that she is not alone, but all of them are with her. Grandma says the last time, Prachi was alone, but now we are all with you. Vikram asks Prachi not to have 1% doubt. Shaina tells Prachi that she always wished that her in-law's family should be with her. She says your trouble is over now. Ria is going from there. Grandma asks Ria to take the prasad. Ria says, I know that I shouldn't have said all that this way. Shahana asks Ria to save her energy till when Siddharth comes back. Vikram's phone rings. He takes the key from grandma and he talks to Siddharth on video call. Siddharth says he will reach there in the evening because the flight is cancelled. Vikram asks Siddharth to switch off his phone till then. Siddharth asks if everything is fine. Vikram says yes. Siddharth switches off his phone. Ria looks on. Shahana returns everyone's phone to them. Ria takes her phone and she is about to go. Prachi tells Ria that she proved her wrong always. First, you thought bad about me and you tried to make me bad. And now you are blaming the baby who is not yet born. Ria says to Prachi that what about what you have done with me? Prachi says you don't know and that is why you shut your mind. She says I left home as my family's trust was broken and Rambu did not trust me. Prachi says to Ria that now... All the family's love and support is with me and says I don't feel bad for all the accusations. Prachi says to Ria that she got courage from her family and she wants her family. Prachi says I don't want to keep someone here who plays dirty games as you will question all my baby's father and my character. Ria says these questions will be there. Shahana says proof is coming. You should come when Siddharth comes back. Ria says to Prachi that until Siddharth comes, you should not call your baby as your Rambo's baby. She says it is not proved whose baby it is. Prachi asks Ria to shut up. Ria says the truth will not hide. Prachi says my truth will not wait for anyone. I will get the DNA test done in the morning and I will slap the report on your face. Rambo says to Prachi that you don't need to do this DNA test because we all trust you. Prachi says let me do what I want to do. If you don't want me to get distressed, she says we will go to get the DNA test done in the morning. Ria says this is absolutely fine. Prachi goes. Ria asks Rambo if he is not feeling love for her. Rambo says to Ria that I never loved you. Love happens only once and my love happened with Prachi, but he did not understand. Rambo tells Prachi that they will go to get the DNA test done in the morning. Ria panics. Okay guys, so this is another turn to the story and you'll get to see what Siddharth will say after it comes. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like this video, share it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.